And is out on bond after being charged with manslaughter. He is accused of killing a mother and daughter from Chicago who were in town to see Drake. 22 year old Monty Henderson was released today, just days after the horrific car crash downtown. Our Justina Cornell spoke to advocates who want to see change in their city. A horrific tragedy changing multiple lives forever. Unfortunately, it's not the first time downtown St. Louis has witnessed this. Two lives were taken Tuesday night on Olive and 18th Street. 42-year-old Letitia Bracero and her 21-year-old daughter, Alyssa Cordova, were visiting from Chicago to see Drake. Of course, our family wants justice. They didn't do anything wrong. They were just minding their business, trying to enjoy life. 22-year-old Monty Henderson was charged with involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action. Court documents say he was going more than 70 miles per hour before speeding through the red light at more than double the speed limit and eventually hitting the two women on the crosswalk. It's an ongoing problem, has been for several years now. Uh, certainly got worse during the pandemic, but the only thing that'll deal with it is, is more enforcement. The push for change continues. Les Sturman is with the Citizens for a Greater Downtown St. Louis. He said their group even made a safety plan three years ago. A day doesn't go by down here when you don't see people uh, going through red lights, going the wrong way on one-way streets, speeding. And organizations like Trailnet strive for safer streets. When we have big events in the city of St. Louis, taking those extra measures to close streets if we can, as we know people are exiting building or exiting at venues like that. The nonprofit also creates yearly crash reports and they've learned Olive Street is considered a high crash corridor. It's big, it's wide, it's straight. They are working for driver education as they fight for a safer future. St. Louis really has to do better to try and make it safer for people who want to come and enjoy what we have to offer. Justina Cornell, five on your side. His attorney responded after his client was released on bond, calling this a tragic accident and saying his client is a, quote, upstanding young man. Meanwhile, the victim's family set up a GoFundMe to help bring the women's bodies back to Chicago. You can find that link on our website under the As Seen on TV section.